What? You're crazy, dude. You crazy. I'm a uh, I'm Team USA. Go go captain. Oh man, that totally stinks. Actually, it's okay. Couple spins, no problem. Okay, I, I could be Catwoman. I'd be alright with that. Like, uh, Anne Hathaway, when she played Catwoman, was pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. She was a pretty aerobic. Halle Berry played Catwoman. I'd be joining a, a very well-known line of actresses. I'd be okay with that. Any news on The Amazing Spider-Man 2? I'm actually working on trying to get some information about, like, the, the new stuff that's gonna be going on with the combat system. Um, some of the villains and everything like that. So hopefully I'll get a blog post up in the next week or two to kind of give you guys some more insider information on The Amazing Spider-Man. So if you don't already, keep an eye out on uh, blog.gameloft.com. I should hopefully be posting something uh, in the relatively near future. Uh, let's see if we can negotiate these hills. There we go. So, it's like, what's going on with that? The reason why I don't have information for that is just because it basically boils down to the dev team has that information, and since I'm not in the studio and I'm not part of the dev team, it's just as simple as that. You could ask anybody else who's not in the Modern Combat 5 dev team, and they would tell you the exact same thing. The information we have is incredibly limited right now, and we're just waiting to get more from them. It's just the way it is. Uh, I can talk about some future Game Off projects. I have to get approval to clear them. So. Yeah, that's right, Tucker. There's, uh, there's going to be some pretty cool villains. I'm pretty excited seeing some of uh, who they have planned. It's pretty awesome. I think people will like it because I know The Amazing Spider-Man 1 was pretty solid. And people were a fan of it. And there was like some you know different things they would tweak. And I think we took that feedback and really added it into the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So it should hit home with people, which is awesome. Oh, uh, we used to. Uh, let's do another run in one of the Spring Break Cups. I'll probably do like another one or two runs and then... Uh, probably get ready to uh, set up my stuff for the weekend. Um, if you guys are streaming with Asphalt 8 on Twitch, please let me know. Feel free to send me a message on Twitch, and uh, I'll definitely check out the channel. Uh, Michelle or I have been trying to get around to all of the different uh, Twitch live streams, so the more people we know about, the better. Uh, I want to change my car, man. Actually, no, I don't want to change my car for this. I like the, the I was thinking about the C-Class stuff. Yeah, the dev team's keeping stuff pretty, like, under wraps, hardcore. And I can understand why. You know, we want to make sure that we're getting the game right. We want to make sure that information, like, the wrong information is not leaking. I can respect that. Nice servo. Okay, so this is a little bit of a better start. There we go. I'm hey, thanks, Blade Sword. I'm glad to hear that, dude. Uh, there's gonna be no giveaways today, guys. No giveaways. Yeah, it's for the A7 devices on iOS. So the devices that can currently stream on Twitch are the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the iPad Mini with Retina display. Definitely check it out if you have either or any of those three devices. It's pretty cool. I don't know if taking this jump's the best way to go, but maybe Running Bird or Turbo can let me know. So 
I need to get like 136. I don't think I'm going to get it with this run. Um, somebody was saying to take the... No, I don't have to be in on everything. There's a lot of stuff that's, you know, decided. I'm pretty low on the totem pole. If you're not familiar with, like, uh, community management placement, community managers tend to be pretty low on the totem pole, my dude. Mm, I think I like that if I actually hit all the boosters, but yeah. Use the fastest car. Okay, I can do a race with uh, the like in Hypersport. That's a good question, Umaru. I will have to ask and see because I know we put it free on Windows a little while ago as well. It's not that they're selfish, it's just that I think they're just trying to make sure that uh, the information gets out there when you know they're ready to talk about it. And I can understand that. Trust me, they know how much pressure is on them to make sure that it's a good, a good follow-up to Modern Combat 4. So, you know, I can understand it. All right, let's find a, an S-Class. And I'll race with the Lycan. Let me upgrade it all the way for you guys so you guys can see me really, really struggle. And then... Start race. I gotta tune my settings down. So I'm using the iPad Air to stream uh, Asphalt 8. And I'm using the Twitch Mobile SDK, which we recently just added in the most recent uh, update. All right, 50% should be okay. Yeah, it's possible to talk with the chat. Um, you can both type in the chat when you have the chat log available to, to you, either in the Twitch dashboard or uh, at the end of every race. Oops, whoops, 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 whoops. there we go. But, um, you can also just read chat kind of like what I'm doing on the bottom of the screen and everything and talk that way with the microphone. You can either use like a 3.5 millimeter headphone with the, uh, with, oh wow, that was close. With a microphone on the headphones or you can just use your device microphone. Either one will work. We had some background noise so uh, I'm using the, uh, a headset right now. Yeah, I think Blade Sword. I think we've uh, we're closely monitoring the Asphalt Eight streaming situation, and if it seems to do, whoops, 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 yep, left tunnel. If it does well, then I think that's you know that's just kind of proof that yeah, there's there's reason to. Uh, ooh. Oh wow, that was terrible. <laughs> Anyways, if. Um, you know, it continues to do well. I think we will invest more into streaming on other games, most definitely, because it's been awesome. I know I've had a really good time hanging out in people's streams, talking with them. Um, Michelle's been staying pretty busy. Uh, a couple of my other bosses, they've been watching streams and stuff, so I think we're definitely invested in it. And like I said, it seems to be doing pretty well. So I'd say hopefully. Um, so with the SDK, you don't choose like a, a frame rate or anything, like a, you know 30 or 60 FPS. That stuff's automatically set. What you do choose is high, medium, or low quality, and you can choose that based on what your internet speed is like at home. So if you're on dial-up, you're probably going to want to go low. 
and then you can probably play Neopets or something. But if you're on like a normal internet speed, you can probably do medium or high. Yeah, you don't choose any of the uh, bit rate, frame rate or quality. I'll go into the dashboard to show you guys what it looks like. Do, 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 do. So like when you want to stream on Twitch with the SDK, you come into the dashboard here and this is what you'll see. You'll be able to change your title, your broadcast quality of high, medium or low, whether you want to view the chat log, which we're doing right here. What's up, what's up? Do I ever say any bad words? I actually have to try and keep my bad words to a minimum because we don't have a, like an adult content filter on the game off stream because it's pretty much PG rated. So I try to keep it to a minimum and I think I said one swear word during the 24 hour stream, but I think that was it. Um, you can turn on the microphone on or off, obviously. You can turn the camera on or off and start or stop broadcasting from here. So that's kind of what you see. Like I said, you don't choose any of the bit rates or the FPS. That stuff is already preset based on your high, medium, or low setting. Uh, I had played the Great Wall already, but I can go, I'll do, a, I'll do a race with the Great Wall before I go. I could, this can be my uh, last race. Where's the Great Wall? Um, I haven't done any B-class cars. I really like, or I did B-class earlier, but I did not do my favorite B-class car. So the GTR is actually my favorite car in the game and outside of the game in real life. Um, Omero, that's, uh, again, that's just not something that uh, Twitch implemented with the SDK. Um, all that stuff is preset. <laughs> Rebel asks, how was I after the 24 hour stream? I was tired, dude. I was 100% tired. I went home and slept for like 15 hours straight. Um, and then basically did nothing. It was pretty ridiculous. But it was a good time. Like, I honestly had a good time. I don't think I'll do it again anytime soon, but who knows? What a rookie. Who runs into walls like that? Come on, bro. Uh, so I'm not going to play Captain America today on stream. I mean, I'm going to play it probably actually after I get off stream and I finish some of my work and I need to take a break. But uh, I'll probably be streaming Captain America again in like a, a week or two, maybe. Maybe a couple weeks. Uh, we've got, a, I think, one more or two more exclusive reveals that I want to do on Twitch. So, oh, whoops. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to get all that stuff worked out and uh, be good to go. And then, yeah, if I get a week to fill or something like that, I'll definitely try and do some Captain America because I really want to. Like I said, I really am hyped up for that game. And I'm glad to hear that uh, somebody epic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Like I said, a lot of people were excited when we announced that it was going to be a, uh, a premium game, and I think that's, it kind of just goes to show there still, there still can be a market for premium games when you find like the, the right price point. What? What? The wreck is real. Z, Z, Z. Yeah, to be quite honest, it's pretty bad. Um, it's it's un, it's unfortunate that that's the case, but I think it's also it's okay because with online only, you know, not only we do we get to focus on a lot of different daily events and stuff and making sure that players get a fair playing environment, but it lets us do a lot of really cool things like you're seeing with Asphalt 8 with like a you know, the multiplayer scene, the tournament scene, a lot of cool rewards and stuff because we're going to take it seriously. We want you guys to be able to get cool stuff in game. Like I think that's Everybody plays the, plays a game to get cool stuff and to be good at their game, and I think that gives us the option to do that. You know, hey, everybody does their own thing, but uh, 
I, I like what we've done with Captain America, and I think a lot of developers are moving in this same general 